first finalist in the spotlight tonight is Jim Cook from Starport on 7, a factory worker. His specialist subject is American presidents of the 20th century. Second, Sean Wallace from Wembley, a barrister and lecturer. His is FA Cup final since 1970. And your name is? Sean Wallace. Your occupation? Barrister and part-time lecturer. Your previous two subjects have been the history of the Champions League and England football teams in the European Championships. Your subject tonight is? FA Cup final since 1970. Well, I've been a criminal barrister for the past 20 or so years. Obviously in court, as long as you're prepared, you're put on the spot and you've got to actually present your arguments on behalf of the client. And it's the same pressure bar situation when you're invited into the black chair. Having lived in Wembley for the last 40 years, having seen some magnificent matches uh, being played in that stadium, that's what's inspired me to actually choose uh, football as a special subject on Mastermind. When I do my revision, uh, you know, looking through the various uh, uh, papers and looking through the old books, it actually, you know, reignites the actual game, you know, live as I'm actually uh, reading it. And, you know, it, uh, oh yeah, I remember that. I like to actually get out uh, with the children, you know, playing football and, you know, basically trying to actually develop their skills, uh, you know, with uh, uh, the little knowledge I have thus far. Well play, Kashaka. You know, it's a welcome release from the pressures of mastermind and also from court and it's really good to actually try and give something back. Let's go. The worst thing that can happen, I suppose, is if I don't win. Just beforehand, you know, you get the, you know, the butterflies in your stomach. It's just like being in a tunnel, you know, waiting to walk out in the cup final, really. But, uh, you know, once you run on the pitch, you know, just like sitting in the black chair, you know, you just got to focus on the job at hand. FA Cup finals in two minutes. Who was the last English-born manager to win the FA Cup? Joe Royal. Correct. Which Brighton fanzine's title reflects a miss near the end of the 1983 final when Brighton were drawing two all with Manchester United? And Smith must score. Yes, correct. Who finished on the losing side in four FA Cup finals between 1985 and 92? Paul Bracewell. It was. Whose pass did Ricky Villela pick up at the edge of the penalty area before weaving his way through the Manchester City defence to score Spurs winner in the 81 replay? Tony Galvin. Correct. In 1973, after parrying Trevor Cherry's point-blank header, whose close-range follow-up did Jim Montgomery famously manage to save? Peter Lorimer. It was. With what were the players of the Sunderland team mistakenly presented after losing 2-0 in the 1992 Cup final? Uh the League Cup. The winner's medals. What is the FA's official timing of Roberto Di Matteo's opening goal of the 1997 final, the fastest in a Wembley FA Cup final? 42 seconds. 42 seconds. Ipswich Town's Roger Osborne is said to have explained his 79th minute substitution in the 1978 final by saying that he was overcome by excitement at having done what? Scored a winning goal. Yes. Which year's final was played using an orange ball? The 70... Three final. Yes, in the 1977 and 83 finals, who played in both losing teams when the winners were Manchester United? Jimmy Case. Yes, whom did Ian Wright replace when he came off the bench to score two goals in the 1990 final? Andy Gray. Phil Barber. Paul Gascoigne was carried off after less than 15 minutes of the 1991 final after his lunging tackle on whom? Gary Charles. Yes. Who scored Manchester United equalised in the 88th minute of the 1979 final, only for Alan Sunderland to make it 3-2 to Arsenal in the final minute? McElroy. Correct. Whose cross was deflected past Ray Clements by Gary Mabbott to give Coventry City an extra time winner in the 87 final? Lloyd McGrath. Lloyd McGrath. What first name and surname is shared by a player who appeared in the 83 and 87 finals and one who appeared in the 84, 85 and 86 finals? And you have time to answer that question, but not too much. Um, Johnson. Gary Stevens. You had no passes, Sean Wallace. You have scored 12 points. So we move from cricket to football because that is very clearly your game. Both your previous subjects? I like playing football, yes. It's a great game actually. It's very hard to actually explain but uh, I've watched some you know, exciting matches over the years involving uh, watching England win and lose, uh, 
watching Chelsea win and lose and they're sort of tearing my hair out because they're my favourite team. What's the best FA Cup game there's ever been? <sighs> That's hard. I, I still think for sheer excitement, you've got to go for the Chelsea win when they won the replay against Leeds. That was just like, I, I was nine years old and uh, I was actually crying actually when we were losing with one minute to, you know, it's about nine minutes to go. And when Charlie put, Cook put that cross in and Osgood hit it, I broke the chair actually. I was so happy. <laughs> and when we, when we won, oh! And for the last 15 or so minutes, I mean, uh, you know, bit my fingernails to the quick. It was just, that for me, that was the best cup. It was really exciting. And being a Chelsea supporter, you hardly uh, stopped crying since? No, not really. <laughs> not really. Not really. Right. Uh, 12 points you scored with uh, FA Cups. 21 is the score to beat. Let's see if you can do it with your general knowledge, starting now. By what name are the cathedrals at York and Southall more commonly known? Minsters. Correct. Which band, fronted by the Liverpudlian and Ian Brodie, took their name from a misheard line in a Prince song? Lightning Seeds. Yes. The name of which sea monster from the Book of Job was used by Thomas Hobbes for the title of his best-known work, first published in 1651? The Leviathan. Correct. Pak Choi is a Chinese variety of which vegetable? Pomegranate. Cabbage. What name is given to a fluid's resistance to flow caused by internal friction? Viscosity. Yes. Nastasia Kinski played the title character in the screen version of which novel by Thomas Hardy? Tessa de Davos. Yes. In which Southeast Asian country is the Plain of Jars, which derives its name from the hundreds of ancient jars found there? Thailand. Laos. Which popular expression was supposedly first used by the San Antonio sports writer Dan Cook in June 78 and completes the line, the opera ain't over? So the fat lady sings. Ah, which American artist who lived from 1882 to 1967 used from 1924 onwards only one model, his wife, Jo? Roy Lichtenstein. Edward Hopper. Which German composer disowned all his previous works after the first performance of Camina Burana in 1937, though some were later revived? Karl Orff. Correct. What name is given to the technique where two plants, often of different species, are artificially induced to grow as one? Grafting. Correct. In classical mythology, what name was given to the horrific monsters with the face and trunk of a woman and the wings and claws of a bird? Harpy. Yes. The winner of which literary prize is presented with a £30,000 cheque and a bronze figure known as the Bessie? The Whitbread. The Orange. In 1704, who was put ashore at his own request on one of the uninhabited islands of Juan Fernandez after quarrelling with his captain? Alexander Selkirk. Correct. Which 2001 Nicole Kidman film, set in the 1890s, features songs written by David Bowie, Elton John and Sting? Moulin Rouge. Correct. Which motor manufacturing company was founded as the Swallow Sidecar Company in 1922? Jaguar. Yes. In which fantasy trilogy... Started, so I shall finish. In which fantasy trilogy was Barlam and Butterbur the landlord of the prancing pony at Brie? Uh, complete guess, I'm going to say uh, the uh, Naya. The Lord of the, the Rings. Rings. <laughs> However, you've got enough to put you ahead. You have Sean Wallace. No passes, a total of 24 points. In sixth place with nine points, Michael Caine. In fifth place with 15 points, John Tweddle. In fourth place with 17 points, Jim Cook. In third place with 21 points, Brent Peeling. In second place with 24 points and two passes, Don Young. The winner of Mastermind 2004 with 24 points and no passes, Sean Wallace. The Mastermind 2004 Trophy, the chairman of the BBC, Michael Grade. What a tight contest, eh? And what a great winner. Sean, come and receive your trophy.
very tight contest. It was. It was uh, really close. And you were, if I, not mistaken, you had a little tear in your eye at the end. I did. What was that about? Um, it's just that uh, you know, I'm just sort of you know living the dream and fulfilling uh, a dream which I never thought I could actually ever fulfil. But uh, it's real, and I'm really enjoying it. It's one of the happiest days of my life, actually. Congratulations. Thank you, Mike. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I hope you've enjoyed Mastermind 2004 and that you'll join us again next year for Mastermind 2005. Good night.